Hi there everybody, it's UK Independent Demonstrator Healthy here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you very much for joining me today for another midweek mini series. So today I have took the A Touch of Ink Photopolymer stamp set and I'm going to create three cards with this stamp set for you. This is actually not from the mini catalogue, I know, cheating again, but it's from the celebration catalogue. So you can't actually purchase this set, but you can earn it for free with purchases from www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Any orders you place of £45 will entitle you to a free celebration um, product. Some celebration products you can get with just one credit and some you can get with two credits. So this is actually a two credit one so you need to spend £90 on my store and you can add this to your cart then for free. So this is just on this page here and once you've finished shopping and you get to your checkout it'll tell you that you've earned celebration rewards and that you can pop in two celebration items and as I said this is a double credit one so there's the code and you just pop that in and you will get this free in your order in addition you'll also get a thank you gift from me for your order now this is the first um, Wednesday series that's including Winter Wednesday and the Midweek Mini that I actually have a plan and have kind of started because I was recording this and then the phone told me that um, it was full of memory and stopped the um, <laughs> the series halfway through. So I have actually already got an idea for the first two cards so I'm going to run with those because they're already in my mind. Okay but I'm going to be running with some sort of masking I'm going to be using the hummingbird, I'm going to be using the flower and I'm going to use the butterfly which are already on my blocks. I've also got my memento ink and I have got some pieces of cardstock. These are 10 centimetres by 14.35 and I've got two because I'm actually going to do the same card but I'm going to do it two different ways so you can see the difference. Okay, the first one I'm going to be using my ruler and I'm going to be using my basic black stamp and white marker. So our stamp and white markers come in packs. You can either buy the full pack um, with all of the different colors in. You can also buy the color families, but the black one you can buy individually on its own. So it's great value for money and it's really good, especially sometimes you know you stamp images down and you miss a little bit of the image. You can fill it back in using your stamp and write marker. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some scrap. And I'm going to draw some lines on, on my card. There's not always a rhyme and reason to these lines. I'm just having some fun. But I'm leaving a gap big enough to be able to stamp my image in. And I'm just going to keep mosaicing this all the way along the card. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. So what you want now is you want some post-it notes. Don't be shocked. As I said, I have actually already started doing this project before the phone. I record on my phone and I have been trying to do quite a lot of videos recently because while this is coming to you an awful lot later, I'm actually working on these um, videos in my break between Christmas and New Year from work and I'm trying to get all of my January and February filming done so that I can just tick it off because I'm hoping to move um, and hopefully by the time you watch this I will have moved but I know it's going to knock me a bit behind in my crafting schedule so I'm trying to get ahead now and my camera just said card full <laughs> so uh, 
I need to start popping them onto YouTube. But I need a full evening for that because believe it or not, it takes some time to get these videos onto YouTube. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just picking a different image with each square. So I've masked the square up, so I'm just getting that square. And I'm popping the image down. And then I'm going to move the masking tape. And I'm going to mask this section up. I'm going to pick another one of the stamps and I'm going to come across with that and I'm going to stamp that in. I'm just going to keep going until I've got most of the card all full. Do check when you take the post-it notes off. They're great for masking, but if you're using ink that takes a couple of minutes to dry, just check the back to make sure that you haven't got any marks on here. So this is the marks from the other side. But if I'd got ink on this side, I wouldn't want to use it again because it would be marking my card. So just keep checking the back of each one to make sure you haven't got any fresh ink on the back and you have just got the ink that's on the other side. Oops. Okay, spotted a mistake that I did. I did not make that mistake in my first one. So I'm actually just going to finish that line, which I hadn't finished before. Because I got mask happy. <laughs> I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. So now I'm going to be masking up down here. actually going to do another one for good measure there because there's enough space to pop another bit in there okay and I'm going random I'm not really caring if um, I have already stamped it next to it so sometimes when I do this, I don't like to get the same image on the same square next to the next to where I've used that image before. With this one, I'm not really caring because I like them all so much. Okay, keep going. Post-it notes back up on the line. And where was I, hummingbird? Um, I'm popping scrap paper underneath just because I don't want to get my grid paper all dirty. Okay, 
Now it's up to you, you can fill that one in or you can pop your sentiment on there. So I'm actually gonna pop my sentiment in that cap. So I'm gonna do best wishes. You know, just I've actually put it in at an angle so it matches the angles that I've done this at. Okay, now you can colour it all in, you can blend it in if you want, you can use your watercolour pencils. You can use a dauber as well to get the colour in. So if I was going to use a dauber, because I do actually really like that technique, I should do that technique on a video actually, you can, um, once you've got it, actually you know what, Let's do that one now. So let's do a dauber one. Have I got daubers by my desk? I have, yay. Okay, let me show you how I'd do it if I was using a dauber. So exactly the same. Lining it up. I'm not going to do it as obvious this time. So I'm just going to do some bigger sections. Okay, so I mean, you can pop whatever sort of bits you want on, but I'm just gonna So this one down here I'm going to use my flower for. And what I mean with the daubers is I'm going to pop a couple of these flowers on because this is a big section to fill. Okay, so when you want to use the daubers, leave your masking tape down. Pick your dauber, pick your colour. Use the masking tape or the post-it note or whatever you're using for your masking to keep the colour confined to the area in which you want it. So you can use your daubers or your blending brushes to get the colour onto the card. like that once you've got it on that section pull it up pop that over and mask the next section these pieces of post-it notes are now saying how's you used us enough to stick down we don't want to stick anymore I know tough cookies it's going to stick for a bit because I want to use it now for this one so I'm going to stamp a few hummingbirds up here Exactly the same with this section. I'm then going to take, um, ooh, and I'm going to do this one in seaside spray. So actually, I want a seaside spray. Um, Dauber.
going to need some different post-it notes for the next section because these ones are now <laughs> not happy and not wanting to be stuck anymore. So for the next section... line that up, do the butterfly. Okay, you can see what I meant a minute ago with the marker. Okay, so here you can see I didn't get that down very well. So that's why it's really handy to then have the basic black pen on the side. You can colour that in. Like that. To be honest, you're probably better doing it after you've um, used your daubers and put the colour on because it will look better then But because um, you don't want to have any, this by the way is Daffodil Delight, you don't want to have any um, smudges and you better... And get some smudging with that and blending. Okay, so there's that section. And then finally, the last section. I'm getting through these post-it notes pretty good, aren't I? Back with the Highland Heather because I did the flowers with the Highland Heather the first time. flower again I was almost putting my blue dauber in We do have our new blending brushes now and they're really good for blending so okay. and 
and that's how I would do the card with the daubers and I don't think I left myself enough room for best wishes so I'm going to actually pick another sentiment I'm going to pick hello friend um, that's quite a nice one isn't it hello friend and that's how I do it with the daubers now what I was actually doing before um, my phone cut out was I was doing this effect but without putting the lines on and just using the post-it notes. So I had got this far. So you can do it that way as well and not have the lines on. Really up to you. Okay, final card. I'm going to make myself a little panel. So, um, I'm going to do it at four, four centimetres. So this is four centimetres by 14.35. So then when I actually put it onto my cardstock, it's going to be the exact same height. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this onto the card. And again, I'm going to use a post-it note just to adhere it in place. Okay. And I'm going to pop it in about a centimeter and a half in just there I'm just going to adhere that down to my sheet and then I'm going to start playing with these different outline stamps um, my memento ink is there Okay, see what I mean about his wings? It's all right. You can go over it with a stamp and write marker. So I'm just looking here at what happened here. You can, of course, stamp over the top. That's not a problem. But I just know when I'm on film that I can't get my head quite in the right angle so I find it a lot easier to just draw it back in. And the reason why it is going funny towards the actual mounted bit is because obviously there is the lap that's holding the stamp off so just fill it back in. this off at the bottom and use that on the top to hold it still in the same place. Again just at the edge there is where it's it's gone. And then finally in this set, there's these little sprays just here, which I quite like. Now I'm going to be using um, a smoky slate with those.
there we are quite happy with that so I'm now going to take this panel off and I'm going to colour this panel in. I'm not colouring the rest in. That's going to stay all monochrome. So I'm going to go with Paul Party for my hummingbird. And I'm doing him all in one colour. I'm then going to go with um, Dark Daffodil Delight for oh, my flower. For the bird, uh, sorry, for the butterfly, I'm going to go with light rosier rose. You notice I'm not blending, I am literally just colouring in. goes back on there you've got a colour panel so I'm going to stick that up on some dimensionals and that's up to you if you're doing this as your colour panel you can colour the panel in nothing to stop you from doing that so that it's not actually on white cardstock you could have also done it in a different colour cardstock so crumb cake and something like that and had that stuck on there I've actually just chose to keep it like this. Okay. And then to finish it off, I'm going to pop a sentiment on there. So I'm going to use this from earlier because this is scrap at this end. And um, what sentiment shall I do with this one? Do I think I want to do best wishes again? Because I did quite like that. Oh. balancing again I'm always balancing when I'm filming and very often I'm not balancing very good <laughs> okay I'm going to use a tailored tag fudge with this which is this one from the annual cat an annual catalogue items and mini catalogue items are available um, with celebration so you can use celebration to on any of those I'm going to pop that just there. So because of the layers, I already have the layers on. So this is already up one dimensional. So you want the tag to be up one dimensional as well on this side, but flat on the other side so that it leads on correctly. So I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of adhesive onto that side. Remove the dimension on this one and then it'll all be the same height. There you go, best wishes. So now I'm just going to adhere these to some card bases and then I'm going to stick some rhinestones and bits and pieces onto these um, to jazz them all up and make them look all nice. So first of all, I've got a normal card fold and I'm going to pop this one onto there like that. Okay, and I'm going to stick it on flat. Um, so you can use, um, oh, I've been trying to get to the end of my uh, snail supply. We've had seal now for about six months and I'm still topped up on snail because I used to teach classes before the pandemic. So I always used to make sure I had lots of adhesive on hand. Now I have lots of adhesive, but no classes. So I'm still trying to work through our old stock. I do have the seal as well, I do quite like it. Um, 
but I want to get through the old stuff before starting on the new really you know and then um, as I was was packing the other day I came across a little more seal so uh, snail so I'm going to be using snail for ages so these ones here I'm going to do tenfold and I'm also going to stick these onto the cardstock flat There we go, card one, card two, card three. And I'm just going to delve into my little embellishment drawer and see what I've got. So I think I'm gonna use some rhinestones and do I think it's just gonna be rhinestones on this card. I don't really want to put too much color on. Um, I feel they're already sort of jazzed up enough and I, even though this hasn't got any color on, I still feel it's jazzed. Um, because there's so much going on and it's very busy so I'm just going to pop a couple of the little rhinestones across on this one which has the sentiment on like that this one over here I'm going to do exactly the same and I'm going to pop some rhinestones across this one here that has the sentiment on And this one here, I'm going to pop some rhinestones on the base by wherever there are splodges of the snakey slate. And actually, because I don't want to leave this one out, I'm just going to pop one there. And there we go. There are my cards for today's midweek mini project. I actually really like them. And considering I wasn't going to do this, I was going to do this technique without the lines. I'm really glad I did. And that's actually my favourite one. Thanks everybody for joining me today and I'll see you all soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I've used on this video are available to purchase from my store, www slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.